how you find the mentor and how you list the negative thoughts around it. You see what you're doing in life. Is it helping you? Mm. If it is not helping you, if you're not making you happy, then it's something you'd want to change, right? Right. And when you find the emotional pain, mm -hmm. it's, it's, you must know that it's the beginning of making a change in your life. Mm. You follow me? Emotional pain yes. is a great, great indicator. Great indication of it making a change. Making you a change. already recognize the problem. Right. You recognize something you want to be better be who you are or how you want to feel. You know, like I, looking at my grandmother mm -hmm. who became a widow very, very young age. Right. And having kids like a two months old with the six kids oh alone, gosh. how she raised. And every time I, ne I have seen my grandmother, any places she was, what she was doing, her, you know, the happiness she was mm -hmm. achieving. And I never find misery in her life or her face. Mm. Even with her th thoughts, with her talking or talking to, you know, day to day. There was never been like any negativism. How we cannot achieve that? That's what is the main thing is. Right. Because we create our own misery, you know? Yes, we, we do. create right. our own pain. By our perception. By perception. Mm -hmm. And happiness is our choice. And, right. you know, like to be unhappy, that's also our choice. If you are unhappy, that's where you need to find your mentor. So if you tell me, okay, you have one guru all over your life. First thing, I am a very much different type of believe in guru. Right. Guru for me is like a sh who shows in the life. I mean, light in your soul. Say that again now. Guru. Right. You know, Indian word is yes, guru, guru. Just the spiritual leader. You can explain that or understand that way, that word. Right. To me, who shows the light in your soul or in your spirit? I like that. Who shows, shows the, the light, light in your life in, you or know, in your spirit isn't that is nice so yes. a guru or a mentor can be somebody who actually and it's like the uh inaugural speech of nelson mandela exactly that we i spoke always about. talk to my students that when i teach right. you know in my lessons i say all the time because we are always in we living in fear we really don't see the other side that what power we have right that right. we, we never measure that power and we, we when we recognize that to get the core of that power, and we always get scared of it. Oh my God, what can I do? Right. But that power, if we can take it, and we can make a Shakti, you know? In Indian word, we call Shakti. Shakti, what does that that's, mean? That's, that's the that? strength mm. with, uh, with love and the faith, mm. you know? So finding a mentor to me, it's like, it's a very important. And mentor can be, you can have a five mentors for five, five different, because like in, in India? India you have I, am, five, you I, have I have a lots of teachers because I told you that my father right. who shows me wonderful, you know, who gave me birth and who also gave me like, you know, right. he was responsible definitely, right. who taught me a lot of lessons to grow up as a daughter to, you know, until my ma I, I got married. Right, right. right. And that time that Pishuda who just passed away, yes. who was um, another, my teacher and mentor, who really taught me the life you can enjoy who shows me the skill I had in my life to bring it to the another level, and who actually make my marriage arrange with his best friend. Which is amazing. Which is the amazing thing. Because, I was I mean, like, he said, <laughs> you two are going to be married. That's it, and we just got married, just trusting him. I mean, you moved to the United States. Not knowing anybody. Not knowing anyone. And not even my husband. And you much. didn't even know your husband. Not Because you much. married in India. We married in India. And then the two of you came to the United States married, together. And we came in 10 days and later to the United States. I was 18. And it was an arranged marriage. That's it what happened. Just an, I just, I cannot be exactly 18. I, you know, you have to full 18 in India. We call exactly 19. When you complete 18 in India, we call 19. <laughs> so I got oh, married. Oh, interesting. Yes. Okay. So you start the year and you start saying, oh, you are 19. You are still going on 19. Yeah, exactly that. Because you have to be legally to sign the paper to get married. <laughs> Which is amazing. And yes. I was saying to you that you here you've, you've come to the United States. You don't know anyone. You don't even know your husband. And you have to now be a wife exactly. to this person exactly. and I was saying I asked you I said how did you know how to be a wife I mean how did you I told you I didn't really know yeah you know I think <laughs> try whatever <laughs> you have to ask my husband how he felt about it yeah yeah I'm sure yeah but that's the time you know like it's it's like my father told me 
do you know what are you going to do? I said, yeah, I'm going to get married. And I said, what is the marriage means? I said, unconditional love. And he just laughed at me like, okay, where did you read that? Which book? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Is that exactly? It's like. I mean, did you even know what that meant at that time? You know, um, we. Uh, my grandmother was kind of telling me, in India, I told you about marriage. Is that the very important thing about that commitment and the discipline? Right. In that, it's a kind of a commitment and discipline you uh, understand with not only one person to the other when you marry. Actually, it's like a whole society and the. Yeah, because you said the, the two thing. families two marry families. each other. Because it, it's, it, it's a very important thing to understand that, that marriage has a lot of uh, blessings and a lot of love right. and a lot of strength because it's not two of us we are making a decision. It's, it's more than that. You know, two of us, we really just know as a person that, of course, you're getting married. Eh? man and you, you know you're getting married a woman that's it but the other family people are in there and it's it's, it's a good feeling it's a it's a very it's a different world and it's a controversial world that you can ask me that right now what do you believe in it i mean i mean it's a, it has a good and positive and negative both sides mm. too but this is what i i feel like right now uh, it's a very very good message would be other did i was watching one show with orange marriage in here and it was interesting and i go back to india all the time and i see uh people all the children they were not very happy about it so they are trying to find out their own marriage some marriage is getting successful some marriage is not so it's mm. becoming like a east and west almost in the same position so mm. some divorce start coming in that country too and which, which is, is unusual for which india. is very unusual for india and which is very sad for india and i see the movement in coming in west again i'm sure india will follow 20 years later when west said okay arranged marriage is good who knows you know right. i mean it's like all that we can i hope that about. it will keep their tradition because the tradi tradition is so important Tradition keeps the discipline again. It does, and that's you one know, thing. It's like you know, it's like respect. I'm, exactly, the respect, the respect is a very important thing. Right. You know, to have um, family life, and especially, I think uh, women we take a very big role model here, in anywhere we are. Like um, we only have a right to give a birth, and we only have a. We feel like it's only everyone's kind of goes around us you know in India we brought up like that we that we have to listen to our mother we have to listen to the grandmother who is the eldest in the family you have to respect so and a lot I think more, that's so important I wish that we respected our elders here more I mean I do my god they're the ones that have all the wisdom the experience you know and so many times that the the kids or children or even other people are not respecting the elders and those are the people that need to be cherished and really well taken care of. I, I think that's very important. So it's important. very important because um, that's kind of keep the tradition and the home going, you know, and the family going. Right. Because my children will see how I take care of my mother, you know, and how my mother right. took care of my grandmother is an example for me. That's you know, so, so it's, true. I think it's a very, very important in our society right now, no matter where we live. I think because I, true. when I talk about it, that means for me it's a global one family, one universe. That's the way I think. You know, it should be. There should be no uh, distance or differences between anything in it's anybody's in, mind. Mm, yeah. And You know, it's it's all about human being. It's all about human feelings. It's all about human emotion. Right. It's all about human. What uh, you, you know, human love is like each other. We must have that common things. Right. These these qualities of uh, human life should be d no differences between what race we are from, what country we are from, mm -hmm. what uh, gender we are in living in. You know, it shouldn't be.